Cliff is so toxic. It's like every time you go past him, it looks like he's like trying to sniff your hair or something. But this... That actually would scare me. All right, my friends, we did one of these for Arlo. Now we got one coming up for Cliff. We're basically choosing Pokemon that I have never shown off in any of the videos for Cliff's current lineup. I should stress that part. So on this channel, you're gonna find like four or five videos already before this one that tackle different ways that you can take on many of Cliff's lineups. Of course, that's for the various combinations of Pokemon that he could use. But today, showing you some new ones, we're gonna start off with Chandelure. This is normally a good Pokemon, of course, but uh, some Sometimes in these Team Go Rocket battles, probably like PvP, I would assume, but I don't do much PvP myself. I'm expert in PvE. Don't really touch the GBL. So what I was gonna say is that Chandelure, obviously what you're gonna see right here, going up against a pincer that's using Bug Bite, and it would work in a very similar way if the pincer had Rock Smash, a fighting type attack, of course, but Bug Bite, obviously being a bug type, those attacks are not gonna be super effective against a ghost type like Chandelure, but our issue with it is that obviously it, having Overheat as its charge attack means that it's gonna take a very long time to generate the energy to be able to fire that off as its charge attack and obviously the team go rocket side is going to shield the first two charge attacks that you send at them and so the other thing is that overheat obviously it will make the attack harshly fall for the user so chandelure kind of took a beating but also look at how much damage it did even without inflicting damage with a charge attack it basically took that pincer down 75 percent of the way and it's within the ultra league so we don't have it powered up all the way or anything like that so this is a swampert not even three star or anything but it is powered up really high. It's more that Swampert usually, just in most cases, can be a very good pick for the Team Go Rocket side. I'm sure a lot of you guys use a Swampert, but notice what's happening with it going up against the Pinsir. Honestly, like we noted, the Pinsir's on its last little leg of health, yet it still took our Swampert basically to half of its HP. Now, of course, we got off those attacks just fine. It's got Hydro Cannon, really powerful. Mudshot is the fast attack. So because he has this Electivire coming in next, you could keep on going with your Swampert and see what happens happens. I think it's a lot better option though to, of course, use our charge attack that I've got right now. Just because I had it, we want to stop the Electivire a little bit. We're going to get a few attacks in and then we're going to switch. So of course, you guys who do Team Rocket regularly or watch my videos regularly, you know that the team go Rocket side. They will stand still for a total of five turns and attack on the sixth. Whenever you use a charge attack, whenever they use a charge attack, or whenever a Pokemon is switched out, whether that's by manually switching or fainting. So anyway, this Electivire is going to use its charge attack, burn our last shield right here because I've got Donphan out. I did not want to eat that attack. I didn't really know what it was going to be, but anyway, Donphan is crazy resistant right now to Electivire, who is sending out a full electric move set against us right now. We do have that Earthquake ready to go. This Donphan has Counter and Earthquake. Essentially, the principle is just that you are using a ground-type Pokemon with at least one ground attack like this, because you're going to see that that did just majorly super effective damage against that Electivire. Now, that also positioned us really well, and this is exactly what I was hoping for, is that that Cliff would be using a Tyranitar in that last spot because Donphan not only will counter be super effective, but this Earthquake is going to annihilate this Tyranitar right here. So you notice that took him down basically to nearly the end of the line for Tyranitar. Honestly, with the stagnation period after that charge move, we basically almost took out the Tyranitar before it could even continue with its attacks. So to me, that's an easy way of beating Cliff. Now, we should mention, of course, that Donphan is highly powered up. The Swampert was highly powered up. The Chandelure is not. Often that first Pokemon is is very key to how the rest of the battle is going to go. Now, that doesn't mean that's not a blanket statement, for sure. What I'm saying is, though, obviously they're going to shield the first two things, so generally it's a little bit better to have a Pokemon that will fire off charge attacks really quickly rather than, in Chandelure's case, it couldn't, but the advantage to Chandelure is, well, I guess it was twofold. One, we, did, we couldn't use a Pokemon that I had already chosen in any of the other videos. I did a lot of other great options, some probably much better for this, so again, you can check out those videos, the full playlist will be in the description. But the other thing is Chandelure, it had the right resistances and it had the right super effective damage. So definitely not a bad pick. So again, if you're looking for something more beginner, we've got that. If you're looking for something more optimized, we've got that. Click an end screen on screen, maybe to be taken to one of those videos. And I will catch you guys on the next vid. And thanks for viewing.